This is a training video on taking an audio message saved on the computer and burning it to a CD using uh, Nero 2015 Platinum. First you see here a picture of the Zoom digital recording device that was used to record onto this 32 gigabyte memory card. And then the file was put into this program here called Audacity where we uh, modified and enlarged the, the signals on the right and left channels. Then the, it was exported to, uh, to a 16-bit WAV file and saved under uh, Sermons Ready for CD. And now the next step is going to be to open the Nero program. You can see here we're go we've got the CD uh, set in the uh, computer ready to be burned. We've, we've got the memory card where it plugs into the computer that origi was originally how the information was transferred to the computer. So now we're going to look here on the desktop and find Nero shortcut up here. And then we're going to use Narrow Express. And now we want to be careful here because we want a format that's going to play on any CD player. And so we're going to go under Music, which is also Audio. And we see here, Create a standard audio CD that will play on all audio CD players. You can make a compilation from music or your, on your hard drive or select tracks from existing audio CDs and you can also put mp3s and WMA files. It says WMA files will be automatically converted to audio CD format during the burn process. So uh, the, the what was exported uh, when I audited, edited it in Audacity was a WMA, a Windows Media, Media Audio file and now uh, Nero takes care of converting the file to whatever is best for going on to a CD like 16-bit quality and can be played on any device. So we're going to click on that. Now we have to find a thing that we want to record. So we go over here to, uh, uh, we're going to right click on Explore, Windows Explore, and we're going to go to the external hard drive, a Z drive. We're going to go to David's Sermons right here. Then we're going to go to David's audio sermon recordings and rest, uh, Santa Barbara Rescue Mission sermons ready for audio CD. And then we're going to go to uh, ready for CD. Then we're going to look under the title that I gave to the last re latest recording which is called Pure and Simple Devotion to Christ. So we go down the list here to P, and we see Pure and Simple Devotion to Christ. We click on it with the left click of the mouse and drag it over. Uh, let's pull it down a little bit first. Now we click on this and drag and drop it over. Let go of the mouse now over in the area of the narrow, and it shows it's 25 minutes and 22 minutes and 42 seconds. So now we've got our CD in the slot as you see here and now we're going to click in narrow. We're going to click next. And so now we're going to give it a title. The title is, type it in, And then you're able to put the author's or artist's name. So I'll put uh, Evangelist David Hupp. Make one copy. It's a, probably a good idea to click this verify data on disk after burning to make sure there are no errors. And especially if you're going to share the disk or make copies of the disk to share with other people. Uh, the next video will show how to uh, print a label on the CD. So now we're going to go to burn and now the CD uh, it says a CD minus R or RW rewritable is required so we're going to uh, close the CD drawer now. 
waiting for disk. It says, uh, there it goes. Now it says, uh, for some reason it didn't like that disk. So we're going to pick another disk. Now we're waiting for the second disk to activate. Here it goes, something's happening there. It's writing to the disk now at 40x speed or 6,000 kilobytes per second. You can see it tells you the countdown time. It's taking less than a minute to do this job. So it's counting down here and showing you the total time it takes. And it shows you over here the name of your type of recorder you have in your computer, a CD burner, and whether it has uh, the activated buffer underrun. So it shows the burn process has been started. Remaining time is only about, uh, it changes. So it's still less than a minute. It's at 50 some percent now as you can see over here. And then when it's done we're going to be able to press the eject button and take out the CD and the next step will be to use an Epson uh, stylus a uh, photo R320 inkjet printer that also can print on to print labels directly on the CD. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. And some of the some of the CDs are called inkjet printable. That means that you can print high quality labels right onto the CD without having to print onto an Avery label. It might wrinkle when you try and put it on with a CD stomper. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video.